Hey guys, welcome back to the pantry. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to split your music audio so that you can control the volume of what you hear through your headphones and what your viewers hear on stream with that Go XLR Mini. Let's get started. So you guys are here because you're tired of fiddling with your music audio and uh, your viewers are telling you that your volume for your music is way too loud but it's absolutely perfect for you or vice versa or you're in a competitive match of overwatch and you want to hyper focus on the game and you want to turn off your music but at the same time you don't want your stream not to have music either for your viewers well i'm here to give you that solution so let's get started first of all this is the most important uh part of the video you want to make sure you have this correct before we go forward with the tutorial so if you're using spotify like myself or even at times i use nightbots dj to play the music you want to make sure that you set those two applications to uh the music output for your go xlr so to do that, you want to make sure you go down to your audio settings and you want to right click this audio settings, go into your sound settings. And then now you want to go all the way down until you hit the app volume and device preferences. Go ahead and click that and you'll go ahead and scroll all the way down until you find your Nightbot or your Spotify. But wait, there's there's no Spotify or Nightbot. Well, a lot of people didn't know this, but you're actually supposed to hit play on your music before say your Spotify appears onto your uh, audio and device preferences I'm not sure if Nightbot's the same way I don't remember but uh, if you don't see Nightbot try playing a video uh, music audio on there and uh, see if it appears on the list it should now that we have that taken care of and your Spotify appears on the list you next you want to make sure under the output uh, setting with Spotify, you want to set that as your music setting. And I believe in the tutorial at the very beginning of your uh, your your user manual, they make you do that also, but it doesn't help you with the Spotify, right? So anyway, so make sure you do that. Now the next part, this sets up the building blocks for just like this, sets up the building blocks for the rest of the video. Now you want to make sure your Nightbot or your Spotify or whatever media, music media application you're using is at your max volume level at 100%. And we'll get into that why here shortly. Now, as you guys can see, we're on our Go XLR application. You wanna now go into your routing category. And this might look different for you. Uh, I don't use the line in and line outs because it's a single PC, streaming PC. And so that's why I have them all unchecked. The next part that is very important, and this is where you will start creating separate audio channels for your stream. You wanna go down to the music box and unclick broadcast stream mix. This is important because your broadcast stream mix is accumulation of all your audio, right? Your mic, your chat, your music, your system, your game. Well, to be able to control the volume of your music for your viewers and yourself, you have to uncheck that because if you don't, it's just going to be a whole compilation of your music and your game audio, all that stuff. And basically, that was the issue we're running into. We aren't able to split those audio separately. So now that you have that split, you want to go into your OBS software. So let's go ahead and go over to your OBS software, which I have open. And of course, you guys see that I'm recording. Please ignore that. So you want to go into your settings right here, hit your settings. And the next part is to go into your audio setting. As you can see, I have your broadcast stream mix there. Ignore that. You guys have, has, should have already set that up. Uh, the important part here is your desktop audio and your desktop audio too. Those are your two separate channels for your applications, music application. Ignore the system. We can go over that at the end of the video. You just want to make sure either in desktop audio or desktop audio too, that you have music selected once you have that selected go ahead and apply it and click ok now you will see that we have a desktop audio 2 or desktop audio uh, whichever one you chose and it will appear as a separate audio channel on your obs so going back to what i said before you want to make sure that your nightbot or spotify or whatever music application you're using is at its max 
volume level. Just make sure you turn down your <laughs> your volume on your Go XLR before you start playing or else you're going to blow out your ears like I did a couple times. And that's not fun. Once you have that set up, this is the fun part and also the experimental part. You have to set the volume at which you want your stream to hear your music. And so if you go into your desktop audio two or audio, um, you'll see this, uh, this output bar right below the audio. That's basically how much and how strong your audio is in, uh, that is being played for your stream, right? So this is why it's so important to have your volume of those applications 100%. So that way you don't have to mess with it way too much. It's annoying to have to adjust each application to the right volume. You may have to do that depending on what you're using, but this is the easiest route to go to just adjust this for every audio application. For me, I have it set at 40 decibels and this is with trial and error, which you guys will have to do. This will play the music at a lower volume for my stream than um, for what I could hear by mixing on the Go XLR. So let's go ahead and give you guys an example, right? I'm going to go ahead and go over to Spotify. I'm going to play some music. So with that music, you guys should hear it at a pretty decent level. It's not loud that it's overpowering my voice, but it's not soft that you guys can't really hear the music. So the cool part here, and this is what we're here for, right? is that I can control, if you guys take a look at the Go XLR application right up there, you can see that I am clearly raising my music volume and that should not affect what you guys hear at all, right? And then now watch this. I, I'm in a competitive for watch game and I need to focus. I'm gonna turn that thing down. Music is still going for stream as it should be for you guys, but I, I can't hear anything. What's cool about this is you can even go in to your OBS and just mute that off. Now there's no music for anybody or there's music for me, which again, if you look at the Go XLR, I'm turning my volume up. Well, the, the <laughs> app just crashed. So now that we got the basic sound and you guys have your audio split, um, this is the fun part or not fun part, depending on who you are. You're gonna have to go into your OBS and you're going to have to record your audio with the music, with Spotify, with Nightbot, with your video games, and you have to do your audio mixing yourself. Every stream environment is different and uh, I can't unfortunately tell you guys what to set yours at because everyone's different, their mic volume's different, etc. But now you have the tools to do so. There you have it. So now that you have the ability to separate your music audio from your viewers and your headphones, go out and do some mixing. Um, it'll take some trials and errors to get the mixing right for your stream, but I believe you guys can do it. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, please go ahead and post it down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer it for you. Otherwise, please hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Um, I do stream on Twitch. Uh, I'll post a link here, either up here somewhere, and I'll also post my socials <laughs> down at the very bottom of the, of the stream. Um, but anywho, I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Have a good one, Pantry.